living on Mars has long been a dream of humanity. The idea of a high-tech city under shining glass domes, where we can enjoy a luxurious life on the interplanetary frontier, is incredibly enticing. However, the reality of life on Mars is far from glamorous. While metal buildings and glass domes may be great for science fiction, the practicality of such structures on Mars is limited. In this video, we will explore different options for Martian accommodation, with a focus on inflatable habitats. These highly engineered, self-sufficient structures may just be the key to successful colonization of the Red Planet. The Advantages of Inflatable Habitats Inflatable habitats have been under development for several decades and are now ready to play a significant role in the future of human spaceflight. These habitats offer several advantages over other forms of Martian accommodation. Firstly, they solve the inherent problems of keeping humans alive and well outside of Earth's atmosphere. They provide an excellent solution for future orbiting space stations and may be the key to Mars colonization. The Challenges of 3D Printing on Mars 3D printing has been a popular concept in the design and engineering of practical Mars colonies. The idea is to land a fully autonomous robotic system on Mars, which would collect regolith, loose dust and bits of rock, from the surface. This collected material would then be mixed with a polymer substance and baked in a high-temperature oven to create a concrete-like material. The 3D printing machine would then build up the structure layer by layer. While this concept is intriguing, it faces several challenges. Landing multiple robots on Mars and providing enough electricity to power them throughout the process is a significant obstacle. Additionally, the toxicity of Martian regolith to human beings is still uncertain since we do not have a sample of it yet. The Ideal Martian Accommodation – The Balloon Considering the challenges of 3D printing on Mars, the balloon emerges as the ideal Martian accommodation. These inflatable habitats can be prefabricated on Earth, loaded into a rocket, and shipped to Mars. Upon arrival, the habitat self-inflates, deploys solar panels, powers up, and waits for a human crew to arrive. The simplicity and efficiency of this solution make it the most viable option for establishing the first human settlement on Mars. The Pioneers of Inflatable Space Habitats – Bigelow Aerospace Before the likes of Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson, there was Robert Bigelow, an eccentric billionaire with a passion for outer space. Bigelow founded his own aerospace company, Bigelow Aerospace with the dream of creating hotels in space. They developed a multi-layer expandable space module technology known as the TransHab. Though the TransHab did not receive the necessary funding for implementation, it laid the foundation for the development of inflatable habitats. In 2012, Bigelow Aerospace successfully inflated the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module beam, on the International Space Station ISS. Despite the collapse of Bigelow Aerospace in 2020, the research and development of inflatable habitats continue. The Potential of Inflatable Habitats – Sierra Nevada Corporation Following in the footsteps of Bigelow Aerospace, the Sierra Nevada Corporation has emerged as a key player in the development of inflatable habitats. Through their offshoot, Sierra Space, they have designed a large integrated flexible environment, life, habitat. This three-story, 27-foot diameter module offers about one-third of the internal volume of the entire ISS in a single module. Life modules can be integrated into the upcoming orbital reef space station or function as standalone space stations. The modular design allows for the linking of multiple habitats to create orbital structures with massive internal volumes. Safety and Durability of Inflatable Habitats One of the concerns surrounding inflatable habitats is their safety and durability. However, these habitats are designed with multiple layers of an ultra-tough material called Vectrin. This Kevlar-like material woven together provides strength and durability. When pressurized, 
the outer shell of the habitat becomes stronger than steel. Overpressure and ballistic testing have been conducted to ensure the consistency and longevity of the habitat. The inflatable nature of these structures also allows for effective radiation shielding. Polyethylene, a material with high hydrogen content, can be woven into the shell composition to create an effective radiation shield. While living in outer space and visiting an alien planet will always carry inherent risks, inflatable habitats offer a relatively safe and comfortable solution. Application of Inflatable Habitats in Mars Colonization Inflatable habitats have the potential to play a crucial role in Mars colonization. These habitats are designed with a solid center core that contains all the primary systems, communications, life support, power, and essential equipment. The outer areas of the habitat can be utilized for storage, research equipment, medical base, and exercise gear. The design of the habitats can cater to both zero gravity and planetary environments. Zero gravity habitats are easier to design, utilizing soft baffles to separate different areas of the habitat. However, for a serious colony on Mars, a combination of ground-based infrastructure and an orbital space station may be necessary. Sierra Space envisions creating a ring-shaped space station by linking multiple habitats together. This station could be rotated to create artificial gravity, enhancing the comfort and well-being of the inhabitants. Future Possibilities Jumbo-sized inflatable habitats With the advancement of rocket capabilities, the potential for jumbo-sized inflatable habitats becomes a reality. Sierra Space is already exploring the possibilities of utilizing larger cargo fairings, such as those provided by SpaceX's Starship. By harnessing the full potential of the Starship, Sierra Space could create a life module with an expanded volume of over 2. 000 cubic meters. Such a habitat would offer a fully functioning Martian infrastructure, providing a safe and comfortable environment for a long-term human presence. The combination of ground-based infrastructure and orbital habitats would pave the way for successful Mars colonization. To sum up, inflatable habitats are the future of Martian accommodation. These highly engineered, Self-sufficient structures offer a practical and efficient solution for human spaceflight and Mars colonization. While the concept of 3D printing on Mars has its challenges, inflatable habitats provide a safer and more comfortable alternative. From the pioneering work of Bigelow Aerospace to the advancements made by Sierra Nevada Corporation, the potential of inflatable habitats is becoming a reality. With their durability, radiation shielding capabilities, and adaptability to different environments, inflatable habitats are poised to play a significant role in the future of space exploration. As we continue to venture towards Mars, these habitats will be our home away from home, enabling us to survive and thrive on the red planet. Click here to watch Elon Musk says SpaceX could land on Mars in three to four years. If you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe for more videos on interesting topics like this.